Today we are celebrating Multicultural Book Day, or MCBD. MCBD is a nonprofit children's literacy initiative working to get books that celebrate diversity and multicultural authors into the hands of young readers. Mama, Did You Hear the News? is about a young boy that is worried and fearful about another shooting of an unarmed black man that he sees reported on the news. His parents decide that it is time to give him the talk. They teach the boy and his brother a mnemonic to help them remember what to do if approached by a police officer and how to stay safe. The acronym that they use spells out ALIVE and each letter stands for something. A is for always use your manners. L is for listen and comply. I is for in control. V is for visible hands, and E is for explain any movement. This book is very important, especially in the current times. It raises awareness of issues that black people have to face that others may not even be aware of. It is important that children of all races get the opportunity to see the world from various perspectives. This book provides a safe and thoughtful way to talk about the subject of racism in society with young children of any race. Although it is a difficult topic, the author was able to approach it in a way that is suitable for children and the illustrations are friendly while still being able to convey a significant message. The other book I was gifted is called The Clever Boy and the Terrible Dangerous Animal. It is a story that is part of an oral tradition from the Middle East and Central Asia. The book has side-by-side -side words in English and Arabic. It is about a young boy who walks to a local village. When he gets there, he finds that the townsfolk are afraid of something unknown, which they call a terrible, dangerous animal. It turns out what they thought was a scary animal was just a watermelon. Because he knows all about watermelons, the boy is able to explain to the townsfolk that there is no danger. There are some nice messages in this book. One being, don't assume something is bad just because it is unknown and the other being, you can learn a lot from other people that have had different experiences than you have. The boy in this book is able to share his understanding with the other people, which helps them grow and flourish. The illustrations are beautiful and remind me of classic tales from the Middle East. The book fits into the parable category, in which the story is simple, but conveys a moral at the end. I also appreciate the different languages that this book allows each reader to experience. Overall, it is a wonderful way for young readers to experience a different culture. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you get a chance to check out the books that I reviewed in this video, as well as other diverse books that were reviewed for Multicultural Book Day. You can find them by checking out the website multiculturalchildrensbookday.com or looking up the hashtag, hashtag readyourworlds.